there are children here on Delmarva who've been diagnosed with endocrine related disorders like diabetes. Now, unfortunately, there's no local endocrinologist for them to visit and driving to Washington DC or Baltimore for appointments would be a hassle. So Peninsula Regional Medical Center is using telemedicine to bring the expertise here. Well, hello there. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. A friendly greeting from Dr. Fran Kogan to 13-year-old Logan Dawson. Meeting with this doc is vital for the Ocean View teen to manage his type 1 diabetes. And it all happens through a screen. It's almost like a big FaceTime, kind of. Dr. Kogan is the director of the Childhood and Adolescent Diabetes Program at Children's National Hospital in Washington, D.C. Rather than crossing the bridge and traveling far for his appointments, Logan's able to stay close to home and still get expertise from the best. It's way better because, like, you can just, instead of, like, a few hours, you can just come here like 45 minutes away. Peninsula Regional Medical Center's pediatric specialty office started making this connection happen about eight years ago. Nurse practitioner Flora J. Glasgow says it was born out of a need for a local endocrinologist for children right here on Delmarva. We're passionate about being a resource for these kids and being able to treat them locally so they don't have to make so many trips across the bridge. Parents can breathe a sigh of relief. It's so convenient to be able to be uh, in our backyard to have such great access to medicine. Logan's already had a few appointments with Dr. Kogan after his diagnosis last May. I was like really like tired all the time and like I would fall asleep on the way to lacrosse practice and that kind of just showed us, you know. And we were on our way to a um, to Easter, which we went to Baltimore and. I like had to stop, we had to stop like three times on the way up, which is like usually unusual for me. And, um, but, and we really saw it there. Taylor Copes also has type one diabetes and benefits from this telemedicine. We chat about um, the corrections and changing numbers up and about my weight and how my blood sugar is. Undoubtedly, a face-to-face -face meeting is ideal, but this really is the next best thing. After a few visits, it's fine because we get to know each other personally. If I had my way, I'd love for Taylor to pop out at children so I could meet her in person, mm -hmm. but that's really a big ask, so we don't do that. But eventually, you learn different ways of communicating, which takes practice and also the ability of me getting Taylor and her mom to talk to me remotely, mm -hmm. you know, that, that also is going to be difficult. Children with a number of different endocrine disorders are able to utilize this service. Flora says type 1 diabetes patients don't make any insulin at all. They have to be managed really close and the families have to and the teachers and the nurses at school. It's you don't do uh, you don't take care of a type 1 patient uh, one person. It's 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 a team. It's a team consisting of the school nurse, our office, the specialists, teachers, parents grandparents a lot of time. And because of this specific team member, kids like Taylor and Logan can truly understand what's going on inside them. It's kind of cool just like know how everything works and stuff like that. That way they're able to take ownership of their health for all of their lives. For more information on how to get in touch with PRMC, head to our website, delmarvalife.com.